Hello, hello. It's Kelly Snow. What y'all up to today? Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. Say um. So it's junk journal junkies, etc. Group hangout time. Woohoo! <laughs> so uh, you know we have a bunch of stuff to do, and we have projects to do, and you know group stuff to do. So so I always like to um just hang out for a minute and get everybody to log in and figure out where I am and get all the mods figured out and you know get everybody directed to the right place to go so while everybody's getting here I'll open my brand new big huge box got at Costco the freezer paper because we are going to make some cool sacks. You know, we all see the cute little sacks that everybody makes. Well, I've never made them before. You know, because I'm new. You guys might think I'm not new. But I'm new. I haven't done any of this stuff yet. I haven't done any of this crap yet. Y'all are making me crazy doing all this crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? All these videos, now you guys doing all this crazy stuff, you know, because now I have to try it, you know. So, this is my life looking for kinds of paper I can see through, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I can make little sacks, okay? So, I got tracing paper because I seen somebody in group saying this is how they do it no clue so we're gonna do it and then somebody in group i think it was mary just messaged me and told me how to do this so psh, i've never done either one and then i was cleaning out my napkins because i'm sending my mother a box and i have some here and i have some you know that i won't use or like whatever i don't like or you know whatever the scenario is anyways so I have two envelopes ready to go, waiting for the winners we're going to draw for tonight in group also. So we're going to have a little giveaway. And then remind me, because Kristen Jarek, you guys know her from group, she's going to... um giveaway napkins too so we got three people not just two so three is better so we'll wait here and see you know wait here and see uh you know when everybody gets here and stuff so let me log into my youtube you know how i do it and see how everybody is and who's all here and all that jazz <clears throat> Um, we'll see as soon as I log in. Well, here I am. Here I am. Hey, there's a couple of you. What are y'all doing? We got to see who's here. There's a few. Oh, for Pete's sake, I just did this. I don't know. It just must not work because I already did it. All right, so we'll see who's here. I'm logging into my YouTube. <laughs> oh, I see a Christmas ad. Oh, boy, and it has begun. It's the first one I've seen. All right, so let's see who's here. Christy Dunbar. Hi. Oh, no, Dubar. Sorry, I put an N in there. <laughs> okay, Christy. I'm going to give you a wrench, my friend. Right? There you go. There's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, honey. <coughs> Alta. Hi, Alta. And Celeste. Hi, Celeste. <laughs> the more I write your guys' names and stuff, I feel like I know you, you know, and see your posts. And Girl on the Ridge is here. Hi, Lori. How are you? My girlfriend. How are you? I've been thinking about you lately. I'm so glad you're here. What are you doing? <laughs> and Aaron's here and Sierra. 
Hi, Polly. Thanks for showing up. Hi, Kristen. I'm so glad you're here. We were just talking earlier. And Angel and Susan. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Melanie. You know, I always like it when you're here. And Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi, Becky. Hey, Becky. I need to give you a little wrench, too, don't I? I got a lot of moderators here, don't I? I got enough moderators, don't I? <laughs> They will kick you your butt if you get out of line. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Hi, Teresa. Yay. Hi, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while either. Shh, I'm so stinking busy. Hey, Becky, I gave you a wrench now, so you should maybe refresh the page and it'll happen. christy has got hers. Sierra, that's my daughter's name, you know, but only spelled with an S. Sharon Wilson's here. Hi, guys you're doing index cards oh <laughs> well that's neat we're gonna do Lori have you ever done um, sacks out of the freezer paper and the tracing paper I've never done it before so we were gonna do some of these just for kicks and then I have a little napkin giveaway I'm gonna give you a couple newbies just because I got extra so that's what we're doing. I know, Girl on the Ridge is here, Lori Fusco. You all know she's one of my favorites. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I've missed you. I never get to see you. You should come and join our group and post your stuff in our group. You know, we would love to see you there. We have a lot of people now, Lori. It's going crazy. It's like 5,000 people almost already. It's just nuts. Look what happened. I popped a nail off right before the show. Psh, make me bad. <laughs> ah, the napkin giveaway was something you had to sign up for. Yes, it was. And I had a big post for all the newbies. And I had a humongous list bigger than I anticipated. My group's getting too big now. I gotta I gotta come up with a new way to um, you know, get in with all the electronics and figure out a new system of doing this. And so I was looking for a because, you know, this is a lot of names, hundreds of names to sit here and write down. That's dumb. So I was looking for a random generator, you know, for Facebook, and um, they don't do it for groups. So that's stupid. So next time we do a giveaway, okay, I want to tell you guys all this, so listen up. The next time we do a giveaway, I'm going to have you guys all say your number. And we're going to go through one, two, three, four. Everybody has to say a number. So when I do a random generator, it's already numbered right there. <laughs> and I don't have to do this because it took me like too long. It's just too long. <laughs> so I could do that. So tonight it was just too many. And then the more I kept writing numbers down and liking, then the more people would enter and so it just it got to be too friggin much i'm not doing it like that anymore but i'm learning see so it's a new group so i'm learning so anyways i know youtube has a random generator where you can pick a comment or whatever and i don't know i try to do all this stuff but they make you download all this junk and anyways so we're gonna do that after but psh. so anyway so the napkin thing is there's not a video kelly it's just hi drusilla it's just a post in my group that I made. You got to watch my post if you missed it. I'm sorry. I only have two sets anyway. It's not like it's a big deal. And then Kristen's going to give away some too. So we have three sets. I often do this in group. I, you know, have a lot of stuff that I might give away periodically. And I do little games or I do, you know, just periodic giveaways. So you got to watch the group post. You know, that's just how it is. And, you know, if you miss them, just too bad, you know. <laughs> nothing I can do about it I post it that's all I can do so um so anyway what we're gonna do is hi Beck what Becky you're trying to get my attention oh you're gonna give away some too oh isn't that fun okay so we got Kristen's gonna give away some she's cool we all love her and now Becky Becky's going to give away some. We always like Becky, too. Okay, well, and we'll do that. Hi, Julie. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I know, right? 
Okay. So anyway, so I seen one of you in group. I don't know who it was. So you guys tell me somebody was, we were talking about, you know, how I've been making tags lately and it's crazy with tags and I'm going to keep making them because, you know, Christmas is coming and yada, yada. So I'm going to be making a lot of tags, you know, so if you guys get sick, it would do bad because <laughs> that's, you know, just what's happening. So anyways, anyway, so these napkins I pulled out and I want to decoupage and make sacks into them because, you know, I got that farm journal coming up. So I got some barn wood and then I'm making a tag set out of these. Somebody sent me these. So if it was you, please um, let me know. I already said thank you, but you know, we get so many napkins and this is a real pretty one. So I'm making a tag set for fall out of this and I want to make some sacks to go with it. So I'll have a tag set with some sacks and some different things to go with it. Right? I know. <laughs> oh, really? You have a nice charm, Christy? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I know, right? You, you did good on those charms. I didn't start doing charms till I was, you know, psh, six months in, what, three weeks ago? <laughs> so anyway and then Becky I think it was you that gave me these cool vegetable napkins so I'm gonna I um, do garden journals a lot and so these are great and I'm gonna make some sacks to go with these because you gave me enough so I can do tags and sacks so I'm gonna make a couple out of those hi Ann what you doing Ann's a great member of the group too she always She's always so nice, you know, and helpful and sends out racks and does all these things. You guys are so great. I didn't realize how great everybody was. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just make a group and then, and all you great people just come join and just do all these fun things with me. And, you know, we're having a good time. So anyway, so these are just some of the ones that I want to use. So that's just what we're going to do. So anyway, I wrote down everybody's names for the napkins, and I'm just going to do the random generator over here. It's, it's only a couple of names. And so, you know, I'm going to have to do some investigating on how we're going to how we're gonna do that easier so that there's no, you know, cheating or whatever. But I'll figure it out. I see I'm going to have to now, but when the group first started, I could just, you know, write down names and put it in a jar. But now it's too big. <laughs> It's too big. I can't be old school anymore. Darn it. Now I'm going to have to start using random generators and such. Okay, so I just want to see now. This is tracing paper. And I don't know, you guys. Tracing paper is the same on both sides, right? Like there's no, I don't know. And so um, anyway, I'm going to try. I'm going to look at this one here first. And I'm going to get my tape out. Crafty Irina showed us this trick, you guys know. If you watch her videos, and you put the tape on and you rip it so that the layers come off and you don't have to mess with it. Right? Remember when I, remember when I first watched her do that? My life changed. <laughs> my whole life changed. You know what I mean? Hi, Stacy. Hi, Susan. I know, right? Aren't these cute? Well, I did a whole little journal. Um, out of like barn wood stuff and I'm doing another one it's over here and so I kind of want to make a couple little sacks but I don't know if I'm gonna like the way this looks I don't quite get how to do this but we're just gonna do it and see what happens but I like this part so if I put it on the tracing paper see I don't know how to do this so I'm gonna cut this I think that's how we're gonna have to do this one and I got all my scissors over in my tag making area. So I gotta get it. I have workstations now that my mom was here. I got a tag making station now. I'm moving up in the world. Okay. I think I still have another white layer, maybe, but I think I'm gonna do it like this because I don't know what else to do. Because I just want it to be on the front of my sack, right? Or do we want it on both sides? I don't know, but I think I have to cut this. Because you don't decorate the back of the sack. You just decorate the front, right? So I'll cut this in fours, and then I'll get four little sacks, correct? I don't know. I really don't know. I've never done this. I'm just trying it out. It took you ten minutes 
Good golly. <laughs> I know. That's why, you know, when I first come into group, I always just hang out and sit around and like wait for everybody because it takes everybody a while to figure out. Listen, I started on YouTube. I know it might be annoying for you guys, but but that's what I was, a YouTuber. And everybody said, get a group, do a group. So I do a group, which I could just do Facebook Lives, but I am doing some of those. But I know it gets confusing, but, you know, too bad. Oh, thank you for the feedback. Listen, <laughs> I, um, I got to turn this up because what's happening is you guys give me feedback and stuff in my shop and there it is. <laughs> Thank you for that. Purchase things while we're here in group. So I really like to um, thank you while we're live sitting here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up to you guys. It really helps out. Um, it helps my videos get watched and stuff so that, you know, kind of, kind of works out. Okay. So I cut my napkin in fours. Now the lady, I was reading her post. I wish I would have wrote it down, but I didn't. So if it was you, tell me. Or if you guys remember, it was um, in one of my tag posts, or I can't remember if it was mine or somebody's. Thank you. Feedback again. Thank you. <laughs> I sent out a lot of orders last week, and so I know this week it's going to be, group's going to be filled up with pictures of people getting their orders, and it's kind of fun because I send in little extras and, you know, fun little things for you to kind of help out with the shipping end. I don't know, just for fun. Let's see how these are going to fit. I kind of want to get four, but we'll see. I don't know. They might be a weird shape. Okay. I think you're only going to be able to get two out of one, right? Because you want a sack, so we're going to have to fold it, right, like this. So this will be the front. You get it? I mean, I'm just guessing. If anybody knows, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know, right, Aaron? <laughs> So anyways, you guys tell me, I mean, I'm not a veteran here. I'm just learning. So I just come on here and share with you guys what the heck is she doing now kind of deal. You know what I mean? So if I fold it like this and this is going to be the front of my sack, then I'm going to do it right here. I'm imagining that's how it's going to go, but I don't know. So the girl on group said, and I'm going to use Matt Mod Podge because I don't need a gloss or whatever. She said she... Modge podges the paper and then lays the napkin on very carefully. So that's what we're going to try to do, right? My mom is here. Betty Calkins with a normal name. What happened? Well, Kristen, I don't know what else to do. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Betty Calkins is here. That's my mom, you guys. It's okay. You can still swear and do whatever you want. <laughs> Hi, Happy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so, so, Mom, I'm making sacks out of tracing paper and freezer paper. So you better watch this video, girlfriend, because it's going to be your next. Oh, no, it curls up. What the heck is this going on? <laughs> How are you supposed to do this? Oh, that lady must be crazy. I can't do this. <laughs> How do you do this? That ain't cool. Okay, well, I guess I got to hold it with my fingernail while you... Oh, boy, this is challenging. I can see. Alrighty, this is going to be really weird. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay. It wants to curl. What the heck is this about? Tracing paper and glue. I really don't know. Hi, Juno. Juno, I'm trying a new trick and I'm freaking out because i never done this before. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. And I didn't even practice because I figure it's better to show the new people how to, you know, the real deal rather than try to be all perfect and come on here and just show you how beautiful it all is already done. I'm going to show you how to do it. You know what I mean? Okay, now she said you just put it on real careful. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, see, it's already crooked for Pete's sakes. How does she do this? I don't know. I really don't. Okay. 
This probably wasn't the greatest napkin either because you can't really see through it. So you're not going to get that really pretty like opaqueness that it probably would do with the tracing paper. But this is the kind I want to make because I'm actually going to use it. You know what I mean? But I'll do another one that's like pretty and see through and all that so we can see the. Ew, this is weird. It's all wrinkly and stuff. <laughs> Glue stick, then Mod Podge the top. Yeah, because this ain't good, Becky. That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up, Becky. Okay. Glue stick <laughs> and Mod Podge the top. Okay, we'll try it that way. Oh, crap. Look what I just did. Oh, no. You guys don't even know what I just did. Look, glue fell right on my phone. This is not cool. This is a brand new phone that I just bought. It was like, I don't even know how much money. Like, you know, $400 or something. Look what I just did. Now I got Mod Podge all over it. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Because I was flinging stuff what I get for flinging stuff my husband says you're always so rammy and you know I have to do this because it's on my phone you guys so I'm sorry but you know totally I have to do it right now because this is not funny right now <laughs> oh leave it to me to get Mod Podge on my phone now my volume buttons are gonna be stuck <laughs> okay okay now I actually have um, wipes right here, so I'm going to get that too. God, what a freaking mess. See, this is why I hate Mod Podge. <laughs> I always complain about it because look what it does. It just does this kind of crap every time. Look, now it's under my nails. Oh, well. And it's all over everything. All right. I think that's pretty okay. I'll get a new piece of paper and I will glue stick it down like Becky said. But that's not what the lady said. She said she mod podges the glue down and then she lays it over the top. I'm gonna find that lady. <laughs> I'm gonna find her and ask her what the heck she's talking about. Okay, try number two. We'll do it Becky's way. I don't necessarily like this napkin. I didn't like the tags either. I don't know, but I want some wood, so it's just like, I don't know, I'm going to do it anyway, you know what I mean? I don't really like it, but I kind of do at the same time. Because you can't see through it, you know what I mean? And I'm using tracing paper. I know it doesn't make any sense, but but I want a sack with some barn wood on it, so give me a break, right? Well, I think it's okay, Juno, but we'll see. I don't know. Leave it to me to get bodge podge glue all over my phone. Brand new. It was a brand new one. That's why the glue flung everywhere when I flung my paper, you know? <laughs> Trying to get it out of my face. Okay, this is weird. Maybe I should have tried it beforehand. <laughs> ah, but that's the fun of it. Right? Then you guys can see what the heck. And this is why, because I do this, because otherwise, how would we know these things? No one tells us these kinds of things. They just show us the end result when it's all pretty and... Your hair is fixed and your nails grew back. <laughs> I want to get in the thick of it and see how to do it. Dang it. Okay. So that's better, Becky. So now we just mod podge over the top. Okay, and we'll see if that works. Oh, my God. Oh, did you, Crafty? As soon as you get some napkins. Oh, I hope you win now. I hope you win now. Okay, now we deck decoupage over the top of the napkin. That's what Becky said. We're going to try it. Then this other crazy lady in group. 
I'm just teasing, you know, when I say crazy. So don't send me any hate messages. I'm only playing. <laughs> so other crazy lady in group said, she takes the napkin and she irons it on the shiny side of freezer paper and then puts decoupage over it. Now, if that ain't crazy, <laughs> I don't know what is. What uh, makes us do these types of things? <laughs> you know what I mean? Tracing paper I just got at Walmart. You know? It's there. Okay, so, because it gives us the crinkle noise, I think. Okay, so, so what? Now I just let it dry and fold it and sew it and make a sack i don't know i really don't but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try it out because while this dries i'm gonna get the iron out and we're gonna iron on the on the freezer paper and do that kind while this dries yes it was tracy paper i swear i've seen girls make sacks out of wax paper tracing paper onion skin paper like i've seen them make sacks out of everything it's just, you guys don't understand, it's just when I do videos, it gets messed up. <laughs> Everybody else seems to be able to go have normal videos, you know. But when I do one, oh, my camera falls, or I have big bugs come here, you know, glue flies on my phone, you know. <laughs> Did you guys see that video where that big bug came and I was screaming? <laughs> that was huge. And, you know, I'm from Minnesota, I'm used to bugs, but that one was really... I don't know. It just scared me. I don't know, but it was really funny. Freezer paper is expensive. Well, I don't know. I went to Costco and I got some freezer paper and, you know, 150 feet of it. You know, I think it was like $5. I don't know. I don't think it's that much. What the heck? I spent $5 on a Big Mac. Shoot. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll go buy it. Plus, I use it for meat. The dollar store has it too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My camera falls down. Did you guys see the one where my camera completely fell down? <laughs> it was so funny. It's like I try to do normal videos. You know, I really do. But something always happens when you, you know. So I just learned not to take it too seriously. Because, you know, I'm trying my best. <laughs> And if it gets messed up, well, there's just nothing I can do about it. You know, I'm trying. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the dollar store is facing paper. My mom, you're crawling on the floor? Why are you crawling on the floor? <laughs> are you really crawling on the floor? I can't imagine why. Okay. Why are you crawling on the floor? Because you don't want people to see your home? <laughs> My mom hides from her neighbors. Julie, were you wondering that? Why my mom was crawling on the floor? I don't know. We'll find out. She must be hiding from... Hi, note spinner. Oh, crawling on the floor. Oh, yeah. That's what... I was crawling on the floor. Right. The last time when my mom was here. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do a normal video with my mom but I couldn't because my sewing machine unplugged so I had to get under my desk you know <laughs> I had to get under my desk to plug it back in so I was crawling on the floor so you know it's always in an epic adventure when I try to do a normal video but Hey, I try. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So I got to turn on the iron. What is going on here? I got something on my screen. Oh, God. Okay. Now, she said to iron my napkin on the shiny side up, right? Okay, 
Yeah, I know, right? That was fun. I tried to get you to do another one when you were here, but you didn't want to. You kept saying, no, no. We don't have to do another video. I just want to cut stuff out. <laughs> I just want to make tags and just cut stuff out. That's what she kept saying the whole time. It was really funny. All right. Now I'm just making sure that my volume still works. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so I turned my iron on. And I'm going to get something to iron on. So I don't melt my mat. Look, Michelle. Is Michelle here, I wonder? I'm using this mat. It's all dirty. I got to do this is what I do when things get dirty. Watch. Look, it's all clean. <laughs> That's how I do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is what I'll iron on so that I don't burn rubber. Right? I've been using the same piece of muslin forever, but I keep cutting strips off it. It's what I take pictures on all my Etsy shop stuff. But I keep cutting strips so it keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Soon I'll have to get something else. <laughs> okay, tracing paper, shiny side up napkin. Okay. Now I'm going to try it with the same kind so we can see. So we can see. Don't let my iron touch the freezer paper. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Uh, well, okay, well, I don't know. How can you not let it touch the freezer paper? So I'll just do this little tiny piece, you mean? Just, okay. And I don't know the temperature, you know. It's on this wheel and everything got, um, you know, rubbed off. So I can't see how hot it is. I don't know. I don't know. A towel over it. I'm afraid it'll stick. Ain't this sticky? I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. The epic adventure. Gotta put a towel between the napkin and the paper. Oh my god, you guys. Put a sheet over it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking for some paper here. Can you believe I'm out of copy paper? But I finally got it today. So I'll get some. Can you imagine all the crap around me? I don't have a single sheet of paper. But I got some. Okay. Towel over the napkin, Aaron says, or. But other people said a sheet of paper. So, I have three to four tries. So, if the paper don't work, I'll try the towel next. Oh, my God. Note spinner. Stand on your... <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Okay, I'm just going to have to do it because you all are giving me too many instructions. I can't read it and think at the same time. Okay. Hi. My God, you scared the shit out of me. Five o'clock. What are you doing home so early? Woohoo! Are you? Okay. Huh? Okay, we can bring it tomorrow then. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm right in the middle of a video. You can look though. I don't know how, but I'm gonna have to wait one second. One second. Okay. I think the paper worked okay, Aaron. I don't think I need a towel. But you know what? If I used a towel, I think it would stick. You know? And get the fuzzies on it. I don't think a towel would work good, you guys. This worked okay, but it sticks to the freezer paper. You know what I mean? Okay, that worked good. Hey, that looks cool. Hey, I'm going to do that again because now it's just stuck on there. 
cool. Okay. That actually worked. This is good to know, Mother Dear. Because look at this. Now I cut it. This is cool. If I could cut straight, I can't though, so I gotta fold it. Hi, honey. Yeah, you can have that. Okay. He would like that because he's been bored with me today. It's not been the nicest weather. It's starting in Seattle, you know, uh, flood season now. So, you know, the wind is coming and the rain and we're supposed to get, get it, you know. So it always floods here. But I haven't flooded, but everywhere around me floods. I'm in a little high spot, so I don't really have to worry. But, okay, so I cut that off and now I can just fold it, right? And then what do I do? Sew it or glue it or what? For the sides? And then I got a little sack. What do I do with this? Just cut it off. I'll just cut it off. And then if you got pinking shears, you know, pinking shears, you know, the jagged kind, I do somewhere, but I don't know where they are at the moment. They're over here, but you can cut them with pinking shears. Hey! That is really cute and cut it afterwards. I see. Well, I thought I was going to decoupage. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's super cute. So now can I, do you decoupage over this? Or do you just leave it like this? Because see, this, this isn't sticking right there. Do you decoupage over this now or what? You guys tell me. I really don't know. You don't really have to. We could try it, just see what it looks like. I don't know. Yeah, we could sew it, huh, Julie? I think so. Well, I like sewing anyways. But on a sack, I don't know. Okay, so I want to do that some more because that's really cool. Okay, shiny side up. Side wings and glue it. I know, right? Sew it first. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Now, this is kind of a yucky part. I'm going to cut this off first. Let's try this again. This is cool. I've not done any of this before. This might be old news to some of you, but not to us new girls. Right? <laughs> not to us new girls. Tanya, Tanya made it. Okay, Dorothy, I'll try to deco over this one, okay? That barn one just ain't right. But deco over this, I think it'll be a lot prettier because it's going to be more opaque. And should I use matte or glossy or does it matter? Oh, Teresa, I know we got to ink first. Okay. Okay. Hi, Stacy. <laughs> Ooh, this one's going to be pretty. Okay. I got to get this fixed up here. Okay, now get my paper. What do you do before you glue? That's right. And I still forget sometimes. <laughs> That's our cheer, you guys, in case you don't know what we're talking about. I made a cheer so the new people would know. And not forget to ink before they glue. So I made a cheer with this fat true leader and pigtails. <laughs> it was so funny. I laughed so hard. She's really cute. For the new people anyway, in case you haven't seen my cheer. I'll have to bump that post. It was really funny. Well, hey, I did a barn one. It was cute. It just didn't look good with the... Of course, it doesn't look too bad now that it's dried. Look at this one. It's not quite dry yet, though. But it looks good with gloss on it, doesn't it? With the tracing paper, we'll see how it looks when it's dry. It might be cool. <laughs> I know, right, Suzanne? We'll try it here in a minute. Okay, now let me iron the bottom part. Ooh, this is kind of neat. 
This is cool. It sticks right to it. And then you ink it and then you glue it. Okay, let's see what kind of stack I can get out of this one. Well, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. So depending, I mean, you know, shoot, you can get two sacks out of this. Can't you? I mean, this is what I don't get. Because now I've decorated both sides of the sack. That's why I don't think I should do it that way, Aaron. That's why I cut it in four pieces. Because now if I fold it, I've got both sides of my sack decorated. Which, I mean, I guess is okay, but I would just decorate the front. You get what I mean? So there's no way, what do I do now? There's no way I can fix it. See what I'm saying? Hi, Beverly. Hi. <laughs> I know, right? I'm rolling. I'm ironing the napkin onto freezer paper. So then we can take this. And we're making little sacks. But what I'm asking and the girls, Tanya, is now that I've done it like this, I've decorated the both front and the back. See what I mean? So when I fold it up and cut it to make two sacks, now I got the front and the back decorated, which is okay. But, you know, I'm cheap. I only want to decorate the front. <laughs> you know what I mean? The ones you got in the rack was on both sides too, Teresa. Well, that must just be the way. I'm going to try it both ways because I kind of like the clear, you know what I mean, on the back so you can kind of like see what's in it or whatever. I don't know, Beck. I just think I want it clear on one side. I guess so. It doesn't matter, does it? And I'm going to cut it because I want two sacks out of this. So I'm going to cut this down the middle. But this is really cool. Okay, and then now we ink, right, before we put the glue on. So let me get my ink. And I'll tell you why we ink before we glue in a minute. Missy. Let me get it. I had to put it all in a little thing now because I got too many colors. Too many colors and they just get thrown everywhere. But I'll use vintage photo. Okay. So does the ironing take out the perforations, the quilting? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. A little bit, maybe. Okay, so the reason I like to ink before I glue is, well, first of all, you know, First of all, if you Mod Podge right away, you lose the integrity of the napkin and all the quilting and the perforations that are in there. You pick that up from... Hi, Magenta. You pick that up with your ink, but if you use Mod Podge on it, it doesn't because it's all wet, you know, it's all wet and stuff. And you don't get it. So we'll go in here with some little circles and see if we can't pick up some of the some of the little quilting so I can show you what I'm talking about and I'll see if I can get the edges a little dark here <laughs> there we go Oh, I sent out stuff. I see Rita's got my my packages. <laughs> She's messaging me. Scrap Shack, you guys watch her. Grandma, Scrap Shack, Rita, Donnelly. She's so cute. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Magenta, I'm making <laughs> sacks out of freezer paper and napkins. I'm actually tag obsessed right now, you guys. It's the season. 
I didn't even want to stop and do this, but I'm only doing it because it's matching my tag sets I'm making. <laughs> it's going to match the tag sets I'm making. So that's why I'm doing it. I just told Kristen, I don't even want to do group. I'm obsessed with uh, tags right now. I don't even want to stop. <laughs> so stupid. You know how you get on a kick sometimes, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm just obsessed right now. Plus, I know Christmas is coming, so we'll be using them. Okay. Hi, Mariana. Let's see. I know, Mariana, if you talk too much, you get kicked out, don't you? Thanks for the thumbs up and the hearts, you guys. That helps out. That really helps out when you guys do that. Okay. Hi, Gail. Let's see. Okay, so I inked now. And you can see down here where, well, maybe you can't see. See all the perforations right there that it picks up all the quilting? Can you see it? Kind of. So you don't normally get that, but in person you can see. But you don't normally, you wouldn't get that if you use, you know, If you use Mod Podge first. Oh my god, girl, I've done so many tag videos. Everybody's probably so sick of me doing tags. Oh my god. <laughs> I do them all the time. Because I get new napkin sets, so I want to show you guys what they look like, you know. So. I know, right? I don't know what my iron setting is. I told you, it's all rubbed off. So I don't even know. I think it, I don't even know what it's on. It's just, you just got to trial and error. You know, I always want to do it hot. So now I decoupage. Okay, but I'm going to lay it out flat to do it. And then when I'm done, I'll fold it back up and sew away. Eh? Is that how you do it? Well, cut it and glue it into the clear sack. That's what you didn't get more out of one. I know, right, Tanya? next time but I'm just learning we'll try it out here and see okay so now I want to decoupage on here but I don't want to decoupage all over my fabric you know I was ironing so I'm doing all these stages and I should have just ironed a bunch first I guess but uh, I like to make it all complicated <laughs> you know what I mean okay it's okay I'll just put it back when I want to do it again Okay, let's try it out. I don't really know what I'm doing. And this is matte. And I didn't put my glue in the water, so now it's being weird. I mean, I didn't put my paintbrush in the water, you know? So now it kind of hardened. Oy vey. Okay, we'll try this out. And now my wet finger just ripped my napkin. Oh, yeah. Having all kinds of problems. <laughs> Holding this down. Holy buckets. I'm telling you what, all the problems we have doing stuff like this, it's so funny. All these issues we have. <laughs> I know, glue messes up everything. So I should have sewed before I glued. Is that what you guys are telling me? Darn it. Oh, well. I know Teresa said it too, didn't you? But I forgot. So I'll have to try it once. You know what I mean? I'll have to try it once. But next time I'll sew first and then glue. I actually like to sew first anyway. Because I like the way the glue looks on the thread. I don't know. I'm just weird, I guess. But I like it on my tags. That's what the obsessed part I am right now. That's what it is. It's the glue on the thread. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> but I have this thing about it. I don't know. <laughs> it's this weird 
side obsession thing that's going on. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, I don't understand why I like glue on thread. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just try it. I guess I should have sewed first, but we'll just try it. I'll do another one. I'll sew it first and see what happens. I don't know. Okay, I'll just let it dry really good. All right, I'll let this one dry really good. I'll do one more and sew it first, and I'll just let that dry until, you know, later or something. This one that we first started out with with tracing paper. Ooh, this one's weird. Oh, it's soft. This is tracing paper with Mod Podge and a napkin. Ooh, it's weird. You hear it? It's the crinkles gone. It's like, ooh, this is crazy. But, I mean, it would be a sack, but it would be weird. See, this is what I wanted to do, Tanya, so that you can just have the front decorated. You know what I mean? So I use tracing paper, and I put Mod Podge on. And ooh, that feels weird now. But the back would be crinkly, but the front's not. I don't know. I kind of like it. Let's try it with another another kind of napkin so we can see what the heck, just for kicks. Now I'm going to tracing paper. I know it's confusing, but keep up. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, here's the one that you think I should sew first and then do it. But this one was distracting me because it's really cool. Okay, so all I have in here is white thread, so I guess that's what I'll use. And I will quickly sew it, so then, then I can ink it, and then we can glue it, so I don't mess up my dang, right? So I don't mess up my needle. And then we can talk about how weird this is. This is the weirdest thing. Hmm. Okay. Let me get this set up here. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to sew this bag now, I guess. This is going to be cute. I really don't know. I never made my own socks before. But I like the way they're coming. Together. Boy, we get a lot of uses out of these napkins, don't we? I didn't realize. What the heck? Okay, so there's my little sack of doodle. Let's see. If I had a punch, like a circle punch or something, you know what I mean? I just used a um, zigzag stitch because I like the edge to be finished. Now, if you have a circle punch or something, you could punch this right here. But I don't have one. I... I'm new, you know. I just don't have all this stuff. But I was thinking if I did a scalloped edge, it might be pretty. But I don't know. We'll try it just to see. I got a Martha Stewart punch off eBay. Psh. I don't know. But it might make it hard to put stuff in here. I don't know. We'll see. But I got to do something on it because it's got to be cute. But I really do need to get a circle punch, I guess. So this is, uh, what is this? I think it's supposed to be um, some kind of lace. What's that called? I can't remember right now. But that's cute. Okay, now... Now I'll ink it, and then we glue it, and we'll see what kind of sack we come up with. Right? I need to get a circle punch, I guess. I just have to break down and buy it. It's just when you start out, oh, my God. 
that's why I always cater to my newbies because when you start out, there's so many things to get. I'm still new. I know I'm still new. I know you guys think about, you know, oh, she must have everything. She's got to shop, whatever, but I seriously don't. You know what I mean? When you're starting out, it's so tough. So that's why I always, <laughs> I always cater to my newbies because I know how it is when you first start out. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> I need everything, <laughs> you know? Oh my God. Oh yeah. Islet, Dorothy. That's right. Islet. Oh. I was, I couldn't think of it. You know how you get on here and you do videos and all of a sudden you can't think of anything. <laughs> Right? I hate that when that happens. That always happens to me or I say the wrong word or whatever. You guys know. You hear me all the time. Hey, this is going to be so cute. And then I'm going to do my drawing here in a minute so that we can give a couple napkin sets away and I'll show you. I got them all bagged up here. So we'll do that too while we watch. While we watch the glue dry. <laughs> so let me get some glue on here. Ooh, this is going to be cute though, really, isn't it? You know, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. All right, we'll see. Now, oh crap, it's going all over. I better just do it. I was going to say that's dumb. I should have punched it after it was already, already glued. See? See, I'm new, Dorothy. So I messed that up, didn't I? Because now how am I gonna how am I gonna do it? Because now I got all these damn little holes. <laughs> so this is the kind of crap you gotta do when you're new because you forget stuff. So I'm gonna put that in there so I can glue it without it sticking together. See, you learn all kinds of stuff. Now, next time I'll know to punch it after I'm already done. And I really like to make sure I get the glue on this thread. Because <laughs> that's my new thing right now, you know. I don't know why, but I'm into it. For whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know what's happening right here. With all this crafting stuff. <laughs> I've always crafted, but, you know, I've always made all kinds of crap, but. But these books and stuff got me going crazy. Okay. Hey, this is going to be cute. I know you got to go buy all the crap. I know I could repunch it, but I think I did okay, note spinner, because I stuck a piece of paper in there and. I decoed it and now, so this is going to be cute, eh? So now I'm going to make some, we'll let this dry and see how much crinkle we get out of it. I don't know. It doesn't sound too crinkly to me, but I have to decoupage the back too. So this is all in stages. You know what I mean? So freezer paper, or I'm using tracing paper, or could we use wax paper too? I don't know. Parchment paper. Can we try it on parchment? It won't stick to parchment, will it? Parchment paper doesn't like glue, I found out. Everything just peels off. But I don't know if you ironed it first. I really don't know. I don't know. You like decoupage on thread too? Oh, God. I know. See, it's my new obsession right now with these tags. It's like I want to sew so I can just put glue on it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have this thing with gluing fabric right now. It's just weird. I don't know what the problem is. So, yeah. You like that, Mariana? It's cute, right? Isn't that cute? And here's the other one that we already decoupaged, but it's not so yet. still wet. I'll put that one back. And then this one. I still like this one. I'm going to sew this one, too. So, I'm going to cut it out. Because this one's on tracing paper and it's crinkly. Oh, buddy, just wait a minute. My dog, every time I come on to do videos, the bed, you know, is underneath my desk. And his treat box is under there. So he, he has an actual recliner and a bed. 
and his box of bones. So he thinks he's king, you know, under here. You know what I mean? Hi, honey. I'm glad you're home. Yeah, he's asking for one. Okay, so I think I'm going to sew the top right here first just because it looks good. You know what I mean? For this part. Or maybe I could do a V. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try it. I am going to sew over this decoupage glue and see if it sticks my needle. Ah. Uh, I stuck my hand right in it. I never seen anything like that, you guys. Fabric stuff, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. Doesn't seem to be gumming up my needle yet, but I only just started. Oh, it is kind of weird going, turning corners though. Kind of slippery to, to sew on. It wants to slide around, you know. So it's weird to sew on tracing paper for sure. And it wants to kind of rip on the corners, I see. But we'll see here how this goes. Okay, well, it's dry, and I got clear back, and it's crunchy sounding, and I got the barn, so I mean, that's kind of cool, right? You like this one, Suzanne, now that it has the barn wood? I know you like that one, right? So we got little sacks. These are cute. I like them. I think this is cute, and it's weird shaped. I mean, weird feeling. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> we'll make more because I have more. But we'll do a giveaway first. Okay, you like that one, Gail? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Becky, are you ready? Is Kristen here? Okay, let's see. Oh, I have a whole bunch of names here. Everybody that. See all the names, everybody that entered. So there's a lot of freaking names, you guys. Okay. So what I need to do is. Oof, move this. What I need to do is my random generator. I'm going to see if I can do it on my phone. If my phone works now that I spilled Mod Podge all over it. <laughs> okay, we'll see if it still works. Random generator. One through oops what's what for Tanya oh we're having a napkin giveaway 70 this is 80 90 Okay, one through 96, here we go, here we go. Hopefully it'll do it. Well, last time it just right, did it right on my phone, but we'll see if we'll do it. Oh, yep, yeah, here it is. First number, <laughs> 36. Who's number 36? Joe Graham. 
Joe Graham, number 36. Okay, Joe. J O Graham. Okay, so you're the first winner of the napkins. Okay, so Becky, Becky Swartzlander, you get to send to Joe Graham, okay? Becky Swartzlander is group moderator, and you can find her on the group page, and you just click her name, and you can send her a message with your address so she doesn't have to chase you around. That'd be really great if you do that, Joe. Okay? So that's Joe Graham. Okay, and then now we're going to pick... Um, Mariana, all these posts are on our group page. And I only have um, two, and then Becky volunteered and Kristen volunteered. So we're going to do, okay, Becky, thank you. We're going to do one more, and this is going to be Kristen's pick. And then I'll do my two picks. Kristen's pick is number 18. Number 18 is... Monica Guerrera. Monica Guerrera. So Kristen Jarrick. You can send to Monica. Um, so Monica and Kristen, you guys get together. Okay. And then I have two picks myself, so this will be fun. We're getting the, um, all the numbers from the top. That's funny. <laughs> okay. And now I have two. Whoops, I think I hit the wrong. Darn it, I did. I hit the wrong. Here we go. I got to hit number go. Darn it. Screwed it up. Of course, when I go to pick my number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I think I just hit go. It hit 36 again. We're not giving away 2 to 36. 21. Debbie Kale Burgess. Debbie Kale Burgess. That's who I get to send to. So Debbie Kale. Private message me your address, please, or post it somewhere and tag me or something. Okay. <laughs> and then we got one more for the napkin giveaway. Come on, I can't believe it's not going to any of these oh back ones. Oh, 78. Now we get to turn the page. 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cassie Jackson. Cassie Jackson, number 78. Okay, Cassie. PM me your address. So I can send you out the napkins. Thank you for the order. <laughs> Thank you. So when you place an order in my shop, I always send you extras. If I know you're a group member and you favorite my shop, otherwise it'll say that you're a guest. But um, so I make these little guest check tags and little pockets and give you little stuffies. And I put in a shop card and... Um, Thanks, Magenta. <laughs> I see you. Thank you. And um, so anyway, I just send in some little extras or whatever. So they're just cute. And then I send you one of my tags that I've been working on and, you know, my shop card. And, um, and sometimes I throw in a Seattle postcard if I have them, but I've completely bought Walmart out. <laughs> and they haven't restocked, even though I've told them twice. Yes, twice. To get more Seattle postcards in. 
And I can't seem to find them anywhere cheaper than that than Walmart. So I look and look and look all over for Seattle postcards and I can't find them anywhere. So anyway, so yay, we got all the um all the napkins done here. So we got the giveaway done. So that's nice. Yay. So I'll send that out tomorrow. I know, right, Mariana? I know. Well, they're out, so I I haven't um I haven't been able to send any out. So I'm just waiting for them to get more. Okay. I want to do more of these because I got some major sacks to fill. <laughs> I got some major sacks to fill. Congrats to all the winners. We had four winners in today's today's group. So that's kind of fun. I like to play little games and stuff, and I do a bunch of games all the time. Well, not all the time, but I do a lot of them because I think it's fun. So you got to watch my posts. That's all I tell you guys every time. You got to watch me. I'm pretty sneaky. Pretty sneaky. Okay, so now I'm going to do these because I already got the tags over here. And I need to make these for the whole set. Yeah, if you go to your butcher, that's the kind of paper they use. Don't you buy meat at the butcher, anybody? I do. Let me tell you. I sure as heck am not going to go to Walmart where they glue their steaks together. No thanks. God. Can you imagine? What kind of crap it is we're eating? They glue our steaks together. I don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. Oh, they wrap it in plastic there? Hmm. Well, we get all our meat wrapped in paper. Isn't that funny? Hi, Cindy. It's okay if you're late. It's okay if you're late. I don't think you want anything. We just did the napkins giveaway. I don't think you want anything. But we're making little sacks out of freezer paper and napkins. And I made this set of tags here right before I came on air. So now I want to make little sacks to go with it. I'm making a fall bag sets, a couple of them, and then I'm going to start on my Christmas. Glued steaks, oh yeah, it's all over, it's all over the internet. I follow all about the meat and stuff, you know, I'm really weird about like the meat that I eat because I don't like how they process everything, you know, all the time. I just don't like it. And so you just never know what you read is real or what, but the latest you know, Walmart meat is that they take our steak pieces of steak and they glue them together, you know, if they're just little pieces and they, they, they're they glued. So did I need glue stick on this now, Becky? I can't remember. I don't think I used glue stick on the last one, did I? It just ironed it. Or do we like the glue stick on it? I can't remember. Yeah, they glue the pieces of meat together. So it's like this. America is one of the only um, countries that allows like E. coli positive meat to be shipped in our borders. So it's like they say, oh, hey, our meat's rotten. Hey, we'll just send it to the U.S. They'll take it. They grind it up, put red dye in it, put some bleach in there, and you know, put all and glue it and make it all look all good. And then, then when they package it all up, you know, in the package, they shoot some gas in it. So it stay, puffs up and stays nice and red and, you know, all this crap. Oh, yeah. You can't even open your package of meat without there being some kind of weird gas in there. Don't breathe, you know. <laughs> Don't breathe when you're trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, you know, I don't like to eat meat that's like that. So I always get it from the farm if I can. Or we order um, a half of beef from the farm and split it. 
with some neighbors or, you know, you buy a whole cow and split it, you know, with some people like they used to, you know, you don't have to, we don't have to go to Walmart to buy your meat, you know, like I just totally refuse. I can't stand it, but I'm up on all that stuff. You know, I just don't like all that. So yeah, ew, I know Mariana. Oh yeah, America will take in the rotten meat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we'll take it. Open border. And buy it. That's the thing. You know, that's the sick part. Yeah, we I get all my butter from the Amish and my milk. And it is some good milk, let me tell you what. And the butter is really good, too, and it comes in this big roll. Because, you know, I like to eat organic produce if I can, because I don't like, you know, if you're not eating organic produce, you're not getting the vitamins. There's no vitamins left after they, you know, genetically modify the seed and then put fertilizer on it and water with fluoride on it and all kinds of crap in it and then grow it really super speed. And then, and then you boil it and cook it and whatever. There isn't... <laughs> There's no vitamins left. You gotta be choking, you know. So, you know, I did a whole. Um, I hit. I did a whole um, presentation on it one time. I didn't start college till I was like 35 or whatever. So I was like the old chick, you know. So I was doing all these presentations on food, and the college kids are like, "Wow, I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that." <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Okay, this is going to look super cool. Ooh, I love this one. Right? This is so pretty. I don't quite know how I'm going to do this yet, but... Erin, <laughs> we're talking about how f food is rotten in the U.S. and we take it in our borders anyway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and our potatoes we get from China, which is okay, but they irradiate it first. You know, your meat is even irradiated and your fruit. See, I'm all about this, you guys. You have to go to your produce guy and ask him because if you don't tell your grocery store to mark the food, they won't. But you can go there and make them mark their irradiated food, even their chicken. You know what I mean? They're irradiating everything because we don't want to do antibiotics anymore. So what they do is they irradiate it to try to get all the, you know, yuckies away from it. And then, uh, you know, and then we're eating the radiation. So it's just so stupid. Grow your own vegetables. That's all I'm saying. Or get, you know, organic. That's what I do. But I know everybody thinks organic is just a a phase and oh it's a crock and all that which it, it, i'm sure some of it is because i mean there's no way we could tell if it was actually organic or not what i'm saying if i'm gonna go eat an apple and not an ice cream cone i want it to have some vitamins in it or what's the point i'll go eat the ice cream cone then <laughs> you know what i'm saying just saying <laughs> otherwise what's the point you know so I'm going to get three sacks out of this. Ooh, and I'm going to use this for the top. That's going to look so cool. Why is it so dark in here? There, is that better? Yeah, I know, Gail. You're lucky. You guys are picky. We don't. We'll take anything. We live at McDonald's. Don't you know that? Americans, you know. It's just the way it is anymore. They don't care what they eat. They just buy whatever's cheap. You know? That's the way that goes. They can sell us anything. If it's a dollar, we'll take it. You know what I mean? And that's why there's the overweight issue. Because, you know, there's poor people. They got to eat. So they go get their burger at McDonald's and they're full. Otherwise, what are you going to buy for a dollar? You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of a mess. Oh, thank you for favoriting my shop. That's um, for favoriting. So what happens then is 
when you favorite my shop then when I have sales or I put new things in new inventory which I try to do <clears throat> um, you'll get a little notification then and my shop is up in the description box up there in case you've never been I have loads of supplies for um, the beginner loads and loads and everything is like I don't know 250 you know what I mean so it's pretty good for beginners you know you can go there and get some stuff you know I only got white thread again. I probably should use black for this, but I'm not going to re-thread right now while I'm doing this. But I can do the other ones black. But I'm going to ink it anyway, so I guess it might not matter. But these are going to be pretty. Ooh, these are nice. And then once we get the ink on in the deco cloth, it's really going to look good. Okay, I'm going to ink it real quick. And then... Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. <laughs> what you doing? I know, Mariana, here you try to be nice and quiet. And then we get on a subject, you got something to say, and then it kicks you out. <laughs> here you're trying to be all nice, right? Trying to be all nice and quiet, and look what happened. I had to bring up a topic, didn't I? <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hi, Athena. Ooh, you got London napkin scale. Ooh, that's nice. Your boyfriend's watching too? I know, right? We can do all kinds of stuff with a napkin. I know, my husband says to me, well, I'm going to make a fishing and hunting one. He says, I'm going to, or, or he got, we went to a garage sale or estate sale the other day and he got this whole box of like, I don't know, baseball cards or something. I'm going to make a journal to put all my sports crap in it, you know. <laughs> it was funny. I know, right? The napkins are fun. I have a bunch of new sets in my shop, and I just was going through my own personal stash, too. And then, and then you know, when I go in my shop and I buy all these napkins, and I make all these sets, and then I have all these leftovers. You know, sometimes I got two of this one and one of that one and three of that one and whatever. So sometimes I make these weird sets, you know, in my shop. And so sometimes they don't make any sense, but but they're just, you know, extra leftovers. And so you kind of got to, sometimes I make up these weird sets. Like I think I have one in there right now that's wine, wine related. So if you're looking for stuff for wine or I have one that's, I don't know. There's a couple of different ones in there right now that have. I think I had um under the sea. I think there's a bunch of seaside ones. I don't know. And then of course all my pretty florals, you know. But yes, I need green buttons. I only have white ones, Stacy. You know, I do weddings, and we used to collect all the white buttons. I need all the kind of colors of buttons in metal. I don't have any metal buttons. I don't, I just have white ones, but I'll be glad to trade with somebody. But you know, I'm new. You guys don't realize, but I'm new. I don't, you know, I don't have any, a lot of the stuff sometimes that I need to have. But you think I might because I do all this, but I really don't. So I'm going to get me some more buttons. But you know what the sick thing about it is, is now that I go look for buttons, it's like people know what they have and they're trying to charge me $50 for this thing. I'm like, you're stupid. 
I'm not paying you that. <laughs> Forget it. I'll find them at a sale or something when I find them. I just haven't found any. But I'm sure I'll find some eventually if I keep looking. You know what I mean, Stacy? I'll get some here eventually. But they always put such high prices on everything. It's like, dang. No, I do the marrying, Mariana. I'm the wedding efficient, so I do the whole I do the whole thing. So I get to do the ceremony part and we go through and I talk to all the brides and we figure out what they're gonna do and what kind of ceremony we're gonna have. And you know, I love to do all that. And then we plan it all out. And sometimes I you know, I love to do the decorating and all the stuff. I do hair, I do glam squad with the nails, I do it all. You know, but um, since I moved to Seattle, this state is different. Um, they don't have the same laws here as they do in other states as far as marrying goes. So in this state, anyone can marry anyone. It doesn't matter. You don't need a license. You don't need anything. <laughs> I mean, you got to go get your little efficient thing, but you just go online or whatever. And you know, and just get it. You know what I mean? So, so people here don't really want to like pay to have a wedding efficient come and they just get their friends to do it or whatever. So it's not really like lucrative for me to keep doing it because they want me to come for free. <laughs> it's like, are you crazy? I'm not driving five hours in Seattle traffic to do your wedding for free. I'm sorry, but it just ain't happening. So, or, you know, they'll pay you a hundred bucks or something, but for an entire day, it's just, it's just not happening. So, so I do them here in my little local town where I'm at. Everybody knows I do them if they need me to do them. I, you know, we just have backyard ones or you know, I go to the park around, you know, or we go, you know, whatever. But believe me, I've done big, huge ones before too, but just not here. But back home I did. But, you know, you move to a new spot and you just got to roll with it. You know what I mean? So I had my shop for quite some time because I always like vintage stuff and I always redo furniture and I redo crap and I, you know, whatever. I just like antiques. So I've had my shop for quite some time. And then I just started doing junk journals for presents and then for my daughter and my other daughter and my mom. Well, then I just never quit. <laughs> I never stopped. And now that's just what I do. All of a sudden, like, you know what I mean? In a matter of six months time, all of a sudden, I'm a completely different. I got, you know, it all, it just happens so fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd rather stay home and do this. Forget it. This way I don't have to go get dressed up. <laughs> I don't have to get dressed and put makeup on. I can stay home and be grungy and dirty. Right? <laughs> Stay home and be grungy. My hands are all dirty and right. I think this looks pretty good. I love it with the acorns. One more side, I'm almost done. All right. Isn't this going to be cute? I love this with that ink and the acorns and the leaves. This is going to be so pretty. Right, so I'm gonna have tags. And I made my tag set before I got here. And um, yeah, you just go get ordained online and 
you don't even have to mess with it anymore. So I can't really, can't really do that, you know. I had a, you know, I had a bunch of injuries, and so I always have to figure out something that's easy, and then I can do from home because some days, you know, some days your body doesn't cooperate. <laughs> So this is perfect, and I love it. So here's the tags I made earlier. See, cut them all out, all the different shapes. See, and so now I'm going to have little sacks, and so we'll see how we're going to decorate all this up together. I got a couple other napkins. I'm going to mix and match because you can't have just all that, you know. So we'll figure it out. I know, right? I'll have to try to figure out how I'm going to poof these all up. Yep. Yep, you can just marry anyone, Mariana. So when I moved to Washington, I called them up. I call up my local courthouse and I say, you know, I'm Kelly Snow. I'm a wedding efficient. You know, I'm going to give you my credentials and, you know, register at the courthouse, you know, like a normal person. No. Nope. No, nope. they said they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. I was like, oh. I don't have to register my credentials. Nope. And I was like, oh, okay. So, so it was weird. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing much more of that. Not here anyways, because they don't care unless they want someone, you know, I could go get, you know, and advertise and go do all that and get Seattle brides and go through all that. But seriously, I don't know. It's too much. Um, it's too much running. Seattle is like two hours away, or no, it's probably three hours away, depending on the traffic and I don't know, I'm just not into it, I guess, anymore. Not all that traveling, you know? Not in traffic anyway. Back home it was back roads in Minnesota going around the lakes and whatever, but here it's stressful you know, 80 mile an hour traffic, which I'm not into it. So I'll just stay home in my little bubble and <laughs> make my little journals and I'll just be happy. Thanks. <laughs> you know, it's funny. So these are ripping too. I'm noticing I ripped it in a couple of spots. Bummer. You got to kind of be careful. Now I'm not even pushing that hard. But it is ripping. It wants to, it's not ripping, it's sliding. Once you get the glue on, it kind of wants to, the napkin wants to slide around. So it's not really like that. It wants, it's ripping. It's just smooshing around. It's like, what the heck's going on here? But, you know, I got to get the edges real good because I want that thread covered with glue. Oh my God. I don't know why I like the edges so much. <laughs> I don't know. These are going to be cute. I like it. I like these. All right, now... I got one more right here. I got to sew this one. Well, I don't know what it is, Cindy. I think it's not the edge. It's the glue on the fabric. That's what the obsession is. I like to glue muslin, too. I like it. I don't know why. <laughs> I just like to glue fabric on fabric, especially fabric on fabric. Oh, I love it. I don't know. But I like to glue muslin. It's really fun. I don't know why, but it's weird.
All right, well, this is gonna work out. I think. I like these little sacks. This is fun. I know. I'm sick about it, Dorothy. I don't know what the problem is, but when I do these tags, you know, and I sew around the edge after I ink, and, and then I put the decoupage on, I just really, really like the way they look when they're all dry. And the thread, I don't like it. See, see, I like to make sure the thread's on here before I decoupage. I just like it. I don't know. I'm just worried about it. I can't explain it. Sometimes I do tag so and I have to sew last and then I have to redo the inking and all that. And I hate that. But anyway. My left leg gives me trouble all the time too, Stacy. What is yours doing? Mine puffs up. And it swells up if I sit too long. So I got to get out of here. I can only sit for a couple hours. And sometimes I leave group early because my leg starts swelling up. It's like, what the heck? I'm a thread peeper. <laughs> I know. I'm making sacks. We're making sacks this time. Oh, I know. My... <laughs> my sewing machine sounds horrible people tell me it sounds horrible I've never watched a video yet a playback where I've heard it so I don't know see I love how that perforation right there you can't see but but when you do the inking and you pick up the perforation in the quilt quilting on the napkin it's really more awesome it gives you another layer for free you know what I mean that you don't have to try to get it's just there naturally you know what I mean a lot of times we spend our time trying to get texture and gain layers but that one's already sitting there we just gotta ink it to bring it up you know so that's why we ink before we glue. Right, girls? <laughs> right, girls? Oh, guess what? I got new ribbon. I'm obsessed with velvet ribbon because I'm doing tags now, you know? So if you haven't noticed in my shop, now I've got a bunch of different kinds of velvet ribbon, right? So today, I got, oh, Lunza's back in stock, and Gotha's back in stock, and then I got a new ribbon, and then I got two, two new colors of velvet for Christmas, a red and a green. Lunza, Gotha, and one other new one. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you. I have to show you. It's so pretty. So Loons is back in stock and Goth is back in stock. I relisted it right before I got here. In case you've been waiting for it, it's there. It's so pretty. But let me show you the colors I got here. I love the red. Well, I like the green too, but I have white and purple and a bunch of different colors, but... All right, let me show you what I have. Here it is. Here's the new one. This one's called Jenna. We got Lunza, Gotha, and this one's called Jenna. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to use it. Look how pretty this one is. <laughs> I haven't listed it in the shop, but it's going up as soon as I get a minute. This one's called Jenna, and I only have 10 yards because I wanted to see if you guys would like it or not. But I like it. It's our pinks and greens, and so we always like this kind. And so, anyway, so I got this kind. This is the new one. 
Isn't it pretty? You guys been giving me, um, I know, right, Mariana? I know, Cindy. Thanks, Gail. <laughs> Thanks for your hearts and thumbs up, guys. That helps a lot. And then I got the new red. I got the new red. Becky gave me this. She started me on this velvet ribbon. And then I got red velvet. It's pretty thick. I didn't get the thinnest one, the 3 eighths. I think this is 5 eighths. So it's gorgeous velvet ribbon. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. The velvet's my favorite. And then we got a, a green. I already have um, a hunter green. It's a dark a dark, but I thought since Christmas was coming, we could do a, a different color of a green. So I got just regular green. It's not dark, you know, it's just regular. So we got red and green and white velvet ribbons for, and here's my white for Christmas. So we have all those ready. They're just loaded up. But I'll list the red and this one and the green later here. So that'll all be there. I got um, 25 yards of the red, so that'll be okay. And the green, but I only got 10 of this because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Sometimes I order stuff and you guys don't like it. So I don't know, but this is cute. So we'll see. But once I list it, it usually goes really fast. And then this one I glued earlier. It's still wet. Huh. Still wet. Can't believe it. I was going to sew it, but it ain't ready. Okay. So here's my tags for later. And here's these two that are drying. Boy, I got a lot of stuff drying now. And then making matching tags for all this then I have these Becky gave me these <laughs> and I love this look at all these veggies you know I love my garden and I'm into it and I do garden journals so I think these will be fun little sacks to make I know it's not the season but But I'm still going to make one because I'll need them eventually, you know. And I just love the way this looks. And these are going to make cool tags too, Becky. I'm pretty sure it was you that sent them to me. I'm pretty sure. Whoops, I'm going to rip it instantly. Darn it. I don't have a big enough dust for this huge roll. Mary Brown, she's messaging me now. She's the one that was teaching me how to do this earlier. She's from the group. Mary Brown. This is too cool. She says hot iron, hot, hot iron. So don't worry about the temperature setting apparently. So we'll just do it up. These kind of napkins? Oh, okay. You're asking Becky? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ask her. I have no idea. Probably can't get them now anyways. Probably all Halloween and and stuff. I love these veggies. I know. Becky sent me these. I didn't get them anywhere. Aren't they cool? 
can't remember how many she sent me, but but I think like four or five, you know, so it's enough to make, you know, several things. Oy vey, and it ripped on the edge. God dang it. That's okay, though. Hi, Linda. <laughs> you got a knee injury? That stinks. Yeah, I know, right? I kind of like this whole YouTube thing because it's kind of like interactive and you can talk to people and meet people and do swaps and share information. Plus, we're making stuff, you know. So we do it twice a week, Linda, Tuesday and Thursday. And we have a group on Facebook. It's called Junk Journal Junkies, etc. And we post all of our junk we make. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, I make more junk. <laughs> then you guys can try it out if you want to or not. To make your own junk. So the link to my group is in the description box. And the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. I have a lot of different supplies for everybody to use in their journals. I might have a couple left over, Kelly. If you want some, I can send you two. I think she gave me like five. But I can spare one. If you really, really, really want one. <laughs> I don't know. This is super cool. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Oh, really, Kelly? Oh, my God. Well, I'll save you one if Becky can't find any, then. I will send you the one and only one we got left. <laughs> yeah. I know, they're really pretty, too. I love it. It looks really nice. These were a good find, Beck. Good find, good find. Nice. Well, I got plenty of videos to watch. You know, I talk a lot. <laughs> you know, I kind of talk a lot. I got plenty of videos. Believe me. Kind of fun though. I like it. These are super cute. Only I didn't get the edges good enough. They're coming up. Polly. <laughs> well. Yeah, I know. I go every time I go anywhere now, I look for napkins just in case. And you know what? I find them in the weirdest places. I know everybody says go to Tuesday morning and go to there and go to there and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I don't want the kind of napkins that everybody else has. Sometimes I want to have something different, you know. And, and even when I go in there anyways, Tuesday morning, my Tuesday morning doesn't have anything good. My party city stinks because all it has is dots and stripes. You know, all the florals are gone now because it's Halloween and then Christmas. I don't know. So I always look in these cutie little out of the way shops and drug stores, let me tell you. And um, I'm surprised. I've been finding some good stuff. I really love these, Becky. This is so stinking pretty. I'm just saying. I think I'm going to get four sacks out of this puppy. I'm going to do littler ones. This is really pretty. I can't wait to make the tags for this. So I'm going to make tags and matching sacks. It's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. And then I do um, onion skin paper. 
I dye my paper with onion skins. And then I do a journal out of it, see? So it's super cute like that. I think I just screwed up. I was thinking I was going to do it like this. Oh, well. I didn't really screw up, but kind of. Kind of, because now the picture is not going to be up and down. It will be like this. <laughs> I screwed up. Oh, well. The fold is right here. If I sew right here, though, I guess it won't matter. But it should be this way. You know what I mean? I screwed up when I cut it. That was dumb. Here, I thought I knew what I was doing. But, you know, this is the day in the life of a beginner. This is what always happens when you're new. I know, right? Okay, so I'm going to ink this up a little bit. You guys get the idea now, right? I'm expecting to see pictures now coming up of all you guys trying to make sacks out of <laughs> out of freezer paper and tracing paper and wax paper and everything now in group. It's kind of fun sometimes that's how it goes and when Becky does her shabby flowers then we all go do flowers and then <laughs> you know we inspire each other and then we run off to try to try to make what she made. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Right? I love these. These are so pretty. This was such a good find. Okay. I think you guys get the idea. Okay, so what's up on the agenda now, you guys, for group? What do we got tomorrow? Becky, is your show tomorrow? Becky's got shabby flowers coming up tomorrow. Are you guys all going to come and see that? I love her shabby flowers. I made some last time she was on. In fact, I'll show them to you so we can get ready. So we can get ready for tomorrow. Here's mine. The last time we were on. We had so much fun. We had so much fun, but I didn't have one of those uh, dryers to melt the, the fabrics like she was talking about to burn the edges. And so I had to go out and buy one. But anyway, here's the ones I made the last time Becky did a show. And I'm saving them for the journal I'm making now. They're really cute. Here's a pink one. And she shows us how to how to put all that stuff that we like inside our inside our shabby flowers. So we really have a good time uh, making these with her. And then you can see the backs of mine. I'm using the round pieces that I cut out of doilies or blankets or whatever it is and then we just keep adding and adding and adding and and it's really fun so i think that's going to be on our facebook page tomorrow becky and um all the other guests that come onto our facebook page we just do a facebook live so if you have any projects that you'd like to share with the group um, just send me a message and we'll get a picture of your project and we'll create an event so that we can all share and watch and see what it is you have going on, whatever project you got. And um, I encourage anybody to do that, you know. So um, this is for tomorrow, I think. Right, Becky? It's for tomorrow, right? I'm pretty sure. Mariana, you keep calling everybody a boob. I think that's the second time you said that today. <laughs> I know, right? Thank you. Forever Purple, is that what your name was? I just seen it. Forever Purple Creations. <laughs> 
So anyway, so these are on the agenda for tomorrow. Okay, you guys, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for coming in and stopping in and saying hi and hanging out with the group. And um, we're going to get together again on Thursday. I'm not sure what I'll be doing. I have a bunch of signatures here I want to get through. So we might be doing signatures or I might still be doing tags. I don't know what we're going to be doing yet, but but we'll see. I just do what I'm naturally doing and I do a picture, you know, a couple hours beforehand usually. That's why I do it like that because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing, you know. So, so anyway. We'll see your stuff posted in group. Thanks, you guys. Bye.